Hey everyone, so thanks for joining me for today's presentation. Um, I, uh, my name is Courtney and I am representing the, um, the WordPress training team. Um, I am happy and really excited to be presenting this today because I was um, a deputy on the community team for many years and so uh, presenting to you all is uh, an honor, so thanks for having me. Um, and I know folks have already been um, chiming in in the chat, but feel free to type in the chat at any time. Um, so lo we'd love to hear where you're joining us from. Um, and this is what I said, like, what time is it for you right now? Because I know um, our friends in Europe right now is quite late for you. So thank you for staying up with us. Um, and I'd love to hear how you're involved with your local meetup, um, your local WordPress meetup. Are you an organizer? you a member just or do you just attend ev events or have you not even attended a local WordPress meetup before? Um, I'd love to hear uh, you know what uh, what level you're at with your your WordPress events. Um, I'll give you folks a minute a minute to uh, chime in in the chat. Anyone? Okay, we have oh, some interest. Yeah. I, I was about to say, well, we have a, a shy crowd tonight, but no, yeah. I think that uh, Zoom is it needed one moment too. Yes. So we have some organizers. We have folks on the community team. Organizer, organizers. Yes. So it sounds like everyone, almost everyone here so far, uh, has experience organizing. Great. Great, that gives me a sense of uh, your familiarity with WordPress Meetup, so thank you. Um, if you're still typing, that's totally fine. Continue to um, to chime in in the chat. Um, so just to move forward. So what we'll be talking about today, um, we'll be giving you, or I will be giving you an overview of uh, Learn WordPress. Uh, the kind of con kinds of content that is hosted on Learn WordPress, um, how you can share that content on Learn WordPress, um, and if you're interested, um, we'll go over quick briefly on how you can contribute to the training team and learn, and of course, open up to questions and answers um, at the end of all this. Um, we won't be limited to just Q&A at the end. Uh, if you do have questions, feel free to type them in the chat um, and we'll try to address them as they come up if it's relevant to what we're talking about at that moment. And um, so this presentation is being done twice. Um, so it was already held in Eastern um, Asia Pacific time zone. Um, a few hours ago, or many hours ago, um, by my colleague Destiny, and um, right is me. So I'm Courtney. I'm in uh, Western America, Central Pacific, in Hawaii. Um, it is eleven eleven oh seven in the morning for me. So um, good morning to y'all. And let's see. Um, wanted to introduce you to the uh, training team. Um, on the WordPress open source projects. So um, the WordPress training team it helps people to uh, learn to use, extend, and contribute to WordPress through synchronous and asynchronous learning, as well as downloadable lesson plans for instructors to use in live environments. And so that is at learn.wordpress.org. Um, when I say we say instructors here, um, you can swap that word out and say organizers. So meetup organizers can use these resources um, in uh, the lesson plans in live environments. Um, since we are in a new year in 2023, we have our new ta new training team representatives who are listed here. So we have uh, Pooja from India, Destiny, who's located in Tokyo, Japan, and also Ben Evans, who is located in Japan as well. Um, and 
Yeah, just because we just have, you probably know this being a part of the community team, but, um, you know, questions and guidance is not limited to just the training team reps. Um, anyone on the training team, like myself, um, is happy to, to help you with any questions or concerns you have about resources on Learn or anything on the training team. And just uh, some quick stats about the work we do on the training team. Um, this is as of oh last week, I got these stats. So we have 138 video tutorials on Learn WordPress, um, 110 lesson plans. We've held 286 online workshops, which is amazing. Um, a lot of them were done in the past year because we bumped up a lot of our contribution. Um, there are 22 courses, um, and we have 138 online workshops that are recorded and posted on WordPress.tv. So you can find um, a lot of these recorded workshops um, within like 24 hours of the event um, on, um, on WordPress.tv. Uh, Learn WordPress hosts content created by 49 different people, and we have a faculty program which is very similar to, um, to the community team's deputy program, uh, which are um, people from all over that create content, uh, edit lesson plans and courses. Um, that, that team consists of 32 members, so those are folks that are uh, a little bit more experienced in, in all of the, um, the stuff that we do on the training team. Um, we're also bumping up our efforts to localize a lot of our training materials. So um, we the following locales have at least one piece of translated content. We have Portuguese, Japanese, Greek, Bangla, Serbian, and Italian. So if you speak a one of these languages um, other than or any other language, we would love to have your contributions in translating some of um, our educational content. So that said, all of that said, let's uh, talk a little bit about what Learn WordPress is. Um, kind of curious, uh, using the I think the raise hand feature or some, something in the chat. Uh, I'm curious how many folks here are familiar with what Learn, Press, Learn WordPress is. Um, again, just to get a feel for who's familiar with stuff. Oh, I see. Leo just used the thumbs up. That's perfect. Thank you. Um, yes. Great. Great. So... And if you haven't heard Learn WordPress, that's okay. That's what I'm here to uh, to, to teach you all about. Um, so this is the site, Learn WordPress, a little GIF of the um, of the site. And um, so the Learn WordPress is an educational website and initiative that seeks to be the definitive space for WordPressers across the globe to learn and teach about WordPress. Um, the, I think. I'm trying to remember the site launched in um, like at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. So um, it was basically created in, in reaction to um, us unable to have in-person uh, events um, or the current iteration of the Learn WordPress site was created in reaction to um, the community not being able to have in-person events and uh, in-person learning. So, um, a little bit of history <laughs> about Learn WordPress. Um, so the training team goes back you know, to like 2013. So it, at WordCamp San Francisco in 2013, um, the, the this work on the on the site and the training team's work started, um, and it all lived on the training team's GitHub repo, uh, and in. Seven years later, in 2020, is when the first lesson plan was actually published. So, um, the it took a while for um, for learn to get its footing. Um, and then in 2020, in the middle of 2020, like I mentioned, in the middle of the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, we uh, published the the first tutorial. Um, it, these were formerly known as workshops, so I know the terminology can get a little confusing here because we've changed names a few times. Um, so the first tutorial 
now known, still known as Tutorials. It was um, published in August of 2020. And uh, the first online workshop, which were formerly known as discussion groups, um, the introduction to contributing to WordPress was held. And I believe um, I was a part of one of those. So um, yeah, that was, that was um, a fun experience to launch this, these product, projects. Um, and in December of 2020, the Learn WordPress site uh, launched um, and hosted all of this content that we were, educational content that, that we were coming out with. Um, and in 2021, um, the first course uh, that was the, the Polyglots Contributor Training was published. So, and then we just kept going from there and it was, it's been a great ride. So taking a closer look at what kind of content that we host on Learn WordPress, um, there are four types of content and I've already mentioned a few of these. We have lesson plans, tutorials, courses, and online workshops. And I will be going into those in detail um, in just a moment. Here we go. So first we have lesson plans. Uh, so lesson plans are teaching guides for your that you could use at your WordPress meetup. Um, you can organize um, and any event really based on any lesson plan. So there are over a hundred um, lesson plans available for uh, for your perusal and use. And um, yeah, the, each lesson plan includes a lot of resources for you. Um, you've got the objectives, what prerequisite skills um, that folks need um, to take a part of this lesson. You've got readiness questions, any materials that are needed, um, presenter notes, slides if they, we have them. Um, there's a lesson outline, there's some exercises, assessments, and of course, plenty of other resources. So it's all laid out for you. If you're looking for some, you know, some content for your for your meetup, this is a great place to start because it's all those resources are there for you. Do you have any questions so far? I just wanted to take a, a quick break here. Um, no, nothing so far. Uh, I see uh, Dan is raising a hand. You can go oh, ahead and unmute yourself. Hi, uh, thank you. So just, oh. I, I haven't used the part about the lesson plans before. Mm -hmm. I'm glad it's up there. Um, is it possible? And so you said there are slides already made in some cases? In some cases, yeah. Okay. Is there a way mm -hmm. to search which ones have that as part of it? Hmm, that's a really good question. Um, I do see on this example that we have on the screen here that there is a, a view slides button. But you know, let's let's take a look. Let's go ahead and pull up. Um, well, I ask. I, yeah, this is just partly self interest. I'm in the I'm in the process of trying to reboot our meetup group, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, anything that helps make that even easier to do this outside of all the regular work I'm doing would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's that's great. So I'm looking at lesson plans on Learn WordPress right now and seeing if we can search by resources if like slides are available oh that is not something we can select <laughs> okay well feedback for the future <laughs> yes yes i think this is it's actually a very good suggestion that uh, we should add that as something to add in the search um, for learn so well, thank you, thank thank you, you for that. and well thank you for making it available i think this is a great a great resource i'm going to take a look through and see what i can do absolutely great yeah and if you um if you present any of these lesson plans at your meetup and you create slides, you can submit those to, for use for other fol folks to use later. So um, that also sounds good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Great. Thanks for the question. I'm just checking if we have anyone else. Okay, great. And so next, we the next type of content type we have are tutorials. So we, again, have over 100 of these short standalone videos. They're usually somewhere between um, 5 and 15 minutes long. Some of our early tutorials are a bit long, <laughs> maybe up to uh, half an hour. But uh, the goal right now is to make tutorials very you know short, uh, easy to digest. Um, 
and around five minutes long. So each of these tutorials addresses a single topic and are intended as like some how-to guides um, for WordPress. Um, so each tutorial includes a video, a transcript, um, learning outcomes, comprehension questions, and additional resources for, um, for that topic. And uh, so the way that you could use this for your meetup, um, so you can browse existing tutorials, and then you can organize maybe a meetup event or online workshop for your group on that topic. Um, and just a quick note on that, if you're going to present an online workshop for your meetup group, you don't have to worry about having to apply to be an online workshop facilitator, which is something that um, I'll be going over when um, we talk about contributing later. So if you want to do this for your meetup group, you, you're free to do this. Um, you can maybe watch multiple tutorial videos like string related videos together. If you're doing an online meetup, um, you, know, you can watch these videos together and um, then open up for a live discussion or do some exercises. So this is a little bit more like interactive way of working with tutorial videos. Um, we do have a, uh, a page in, I'm gonna give you a link in the chat here, in the community team handbook um, about online events. Um, so I don't know if this, how up to out of date this is, but it, the, the information is still pretty good for just for some guidance on organizing like online events um, using um, Learn WordPress resources. So see that page for some more guidance and best practices. Um, and so I, did I mention this already that you could watch, yeah, watch a tutorial together with your members. You could do this in person or online. Um, and you can even do like a comprehension quiz at the end, depending on the topic. A resource that some, I know some meetup organizers use uh, and some um, training team folks use is Kahoot. Um, so that's a, a quiz site um, that's free to use, free to get started, that you can create quizzes that people can, um, you can do like a quiz show basically on, on certain topics. Um, so that is one idea. Um, or yet another idea for using our resources. Um, the next thing we have are courses. So these are self-guided lessons. Um, if you are um, a, I think a deputy on the community team, you've probably taken a course. <laughs> Um, so as you see here, the, the meetup organizer training is um, one of the courses that are that's offered. So although courses are um, self-guided lessons, you can organize learning cohorts for your meetup group uh, where you can instruct your members to complete a course like this ahead of time and then have an event to discuss the lessons. So like maybe folks can do the courses asynchronously or you could do it in maybe a classroom setting and um, and then go over your learnings and discuss what you've learned and maybe do some exercises. So um, as it says here on the slide, um, each course consists of multiple lessons which build up to an overall objective. So there's a huge variety of topics uh, which go from basic WordPress usage, um, technical WordPress customization, and onboarding resources, resources like the Meetup Organizer Training, which are used for different Make WordPress teams. So um, we have, I think, almost all of the um, the major Make WordPress teams have onboarding um, root courses. Do you have any questions on tutorials or um, or courses? Well, just a hi, it's Dan, Dan York again. <laughs> just a question. It sounds like though these are probably not the courses are probably not pieces we could really use in a in a uh, in a meeting necessarily. It's more they'd be background material or things people could learn or develop at their own pace, et cetera. Right. Yeah. So it could be supplemental to, um, you know, say maybe like a lesson plan or a tutorial um, and something that people can can do offline or you can do it as a prerequisite before a um, like an in-person meetup. And, and you can have a discussion about those about those courses. Um, 
But yeah, I, I think that this is probably the least likely resource that folks would use at a um, at a meetup. But it's out there. Can I jump in one second, Courtney? Of course. Uh, because uh, following up the, um, the observation that Dan just made, as mm -hmm. I think that I saw from your message that you are also trying to find other organizers, maybe this could be like a, a way to meet up with tentative co-organizers and, for example, going through the meetup organizers core together. And so you can share feedbacks and et cetera, because as you said, it's mm -hmm. maybe content just for those interested in, uh, in joining. But uh, if you try, <laughs> let us know. Yeah, that's a very good point. Um, I know that sometimes folks have done meetup or meetup organizer training at contributor days. Um, so folks can learn how to be a meetup organizer. So yeah, if you're looking to expand your team, it's definitely a, a good thing to do. Um, yeah, thanks for that. Alrighty. So the, um, the last type of content that we have are online workshops. Um, which take a format similar to the training that we're doing today. So it's often someone, well, the ones that I do at least are presentations like this where um, I teach people about uh, different topics. Some of our online workshops are um, our live streams. So as people like developing live and people get to watch along, uh, some of it is where you learn to do a specific thing in WordPress. Um, like um, creating a photography website or um, you know creating like a um, like a block uh, for example uh, so there are a few ways uh, that you can leverage online workshops for your meetup as I mentioned earlier um, you can and instruct your members to attend a scheduled uh, workshop so we have these um, these scheduled workshops are listed here um, at Learn WordPress. So it'll show you this calendar as you see here. Um, your members can attend any of these workshops and um, you can cross post any of these to your own meetup group and you could all attend this uh, event together. Um, and another way you could leverage our online workshops is to browse previous recordings of um, of previous workshops. And again, I have another link for you here. These are the recorded workshops on um, wordpress.tv. And you can use any of these as inspiration and reference to hold your own version. So you could fork these work workshops to hold this uh, your own version of this workshop live for your group. Um, another idea is that you could host a watch party of a recording of a previous online workshop and then open it up for discussion after watching the video. I would say this is like one of the easiest way to, to have a, an event using um, an online workshop is because the content is there for you already. You don't have to worry about presenting. Uh, you watch the video together and just uh, open it up for discussion afterwards. Um, so, oh, I realized I did not go over the content on the slide, but um, I know I know folks can read, but I will just um, briefly say like, yeah, we consider online workshops safe, uh, you know, a safe place where people can explore and learn together. Um, there are no silly questions. Um, and there there's a lot of uh, great collaboration that goes on in in these workshops. Um, so, like, like a lot of our other content, the topics vary from basic WordPress usage um, to very technical workshops. Uh, some things that, um, that kind of go over my head, but it's always fun to just take a part in these workshops just to, uh, to see what people can do with WordPress. Um, and yeah, as you see here, that's the, uh, the calendar, an example of the calendar that you'll see at Learn WordPress. Do you have any questions? See a couple of comments in the chat here. Um, yeah, Dan, thank you for restarting your meetup. I'm hoping that these um, 
this content will give you um, some good event ideas. All right. Yeah, as you can see here, we have multiple uh, workshops a week, um, and it's always it, the events are always being added to. So keep an eye on on that calendar. Um, we have some so, question in there and someone raising hand. So, <laughs> um, Andra um, is asking, is there any way to sort filter the lesson plans by language? By language, yes, I believe there is. Um, we'll check in here. So here are lesson plans. And you can filter by all sorts of criteria here, but I think I had to click on a topic first to find the language. Let's see. Oh, lesson plans do not have that filter. Hmm. Okay, so the, there's an there's an area for improvement. <laughs> yes, another area for improvement on lesson plans. Um, I think it's because uh, we it, it is still kind of new that we're localizing a lot of this uh, these lesson plans. So let's see. I could have sworn, yeah. So tutorials actually have a language filter. Um, so tutorial videos, you can select any language here and apply a filter. Oh, well, there aren't any in German. So if you speak German, would like to contribute. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so tutorials have a filter. Um, and when you look at um, online workshops, pardon me if I'm scrolling too fast. Um, yeah, if it is in a different language, it's, the oh. title is in that language, so there isn't a filter there either. Um, okay. Yeah, I see James' question. Um, are the are the online workshops all the online workshops recorded to view later? That is our goal. Um, we do instruct all facilitators of uh, online workshops on the training team to record their. Um, their workshops and post it to wordpress.tv afterwards. So that's part of the process. Um, I would say a majority of them do make it onto WordPress TV. So um, yeah, that's that was a good question. Um, some folks choose not to. Maybe they feel like they didn't do great or there was a technical error, but it, it is a part of the process to post these recordings. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, some of uh, I will note that some of our facilitators that do live streaming on on like Twitch, um, they actually post their videos on um, on YouTube. So it's, I don't know the technicalities of that, uh, why that has to be done, but um, they will usually share the link to the recording um, in the meetup event afterwards. No, that was a good question. Thank you. And I am gathering your feedback as well. So thank you for those, um, you know, the for the filter for language. Um, I think that was that's a good thing for us to have. Um, so any more questions about the content on Learn WordPress? All right. So I'll quickly go over like um, sharing the resources on Learn WordPress. Um, just a cute little slide here that we have about like how we uh, instruct people how to um, use these resources. So um, we recommend for meetup organizers that you use lesson plans and tutorials. And as we uh, we talked about earlier, courses aren't as um, as deeply used by meetup organizers, but it is possible. Um, and your, your attendees, your users um, can benefit from online workshops, tutorials, and courses. So if your attendees are looking for some educational material for them to peruse on their own time, um, these, these three are the types of content that you could use. 
And anyone that's a developer, we um, also recommend that they they use online workshop tutorials and courses to um, help further their knowledge. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I just wanted to um, go over how you can contribute to learn. So thank you for contributing to the community team. Um, if you find the uh, the resources on Learn WordPress useful for you in your meetup, um, you might want to also give back to the training team as well. Um, I had already mentioned that uh, one way you could contribute is uh, creating slides for for certain uh, lesson plans uh, if they don't if they don't have it. Um, but if you yeah, if you'd like to contribute to the training team and learn, we would be happy to have you join us. Um, so the the training team has a, a few areas of expertise that we just um, put in these different buckets. Um, administrators um, are folks like myself who do basically all of these um, um, cover all of these areas of expertise. So um, I guess you could call administrators also mentors in a way. Um, but we don't officially have a mentor program yet, but we um, hope to be developing that soon. Um, so our content creators are usually our folks that uh, run online workshops, um, people that um, create tutorial videos, people that write lesson plans, um, and those are folks that really specialize in content. Um, editors are people that are um, that don't necessarily create content, but they, you know, they'll, they'll proofread stuff. Um, they'll, they'll check, um, for accuracy, um, and kind of work in the background on, um, on like lesson plans, um, and sometimes the scripts for tutorials. Um, when I say they're in the background, they're a very, but they're still a very important role. And, and subject matter experts are, Sometimes, often, uh, content creators as well, but these are people that you know, maybe have a um, a high level of knowledge in a particular topic. Uh, say, if they're like a a developer or a designer, um, they are people that um, the content creators can go to for um, for advice on um, on their content and how they can improve it. Um, and at the middle, at the heart of all this is our team reps. So they also um, have, they have overlap in all of our areas of expertise. And this next slide has a lot of text, but uh, we'll provide some uh, links to these slides later so you can refer to them. But um, just to show you, this is just like the type of tasks that we have on the training team. Um, so like we often, if you're just getting started with contributing to the training team, we often um, recommend that you start with taking notes at a training team meeting, because that is a good way to get familiar with like the projects that are in progress. Um, and uh, another great way to start to get involved is being a online workshop co-host. So any of the online workshops that are hosted through Learn WordPress, um, they are always looking for people to co-host, and that means um, just basically being there for the presenter, um, monitoring the chat, um, letting people in from the waiting room, answering and uh, helping to answer and wrangling the questions from um, the people that are attending. So that's that's where you can start. But um, I won't go over every single column here. Um, because there's a lot, but this will give you I, an idea of the types of things that we do on the training team. So um, you'll see that there are there's a lot of crossover with things that the community team does. So um, if you'd like to contribute, we'd love to have you. Um, that said, how you can contribute, um, come use our content. So if you notice any content that needs updating and like any of the lesson plans, tutorials, uh, et cetera, um, we do have a reporting tool for you to report content errors. Um, and if you have any content topic ideas, uh, we're always accepting ideas through the Learn GitHub repo. Um, if you don't use GitHub, 
that's okay. You, I mean, I, I actually didn't use GitHub uh, very much until I started contributing to the training team. And it, I know that can be confusing for uh, non-developers such as myself. Um, if you are not familiar with GitHub and you have ideas for, um, for content, um, please let us know in, in train, in the training channel, in the, make WordPress Slack, or you can reach out to learn at wordpress.org. Always accepting ideas for um, for new content because we're constantly producing content. Um, so if you want to join the team, you can join our channel in the, in the make WordPress Slack. Um, there is a training team contact form on make training, and you can let us know what area of expertise you're interested in contributing to. And we have some welcome wranglers, so they will get in touch with you and guide you to your first contribution. So you will have someone helping you um, um, throughout the process. Uh, we're working on a new self-serve onboarding process that's gonna be coming soon. So that's super exciting. Um, the team is growing all the time. It's, we've seen a lot of growth in even just the past year. And as you saw in our timeline earlier, it took many, many years for the training team to to build up, um, you know, our our contributor team and the the content that we're we're providing the community with. Um, I see that uh, Leo provided a link in the chat. Um, yeah, if you're looking for projects that you can help co-host, that link goes to a filtered view of um, GitHub issues where we're looking for co-hosts. Um, so yeah, thanks for sharing that link, Leo. And um, let's see, if you would like to um, facilitate or present um, an online workshop or tutorial that's hosted through Learn WordPress, uh, we have an application for you to facilitate online workshops or present tutorials. Uh, those are both um, on, I think on make training. So here we go. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, um, you do not need to fill out this application to run to run an online workshop for your own meetup group. Um, perhaps maybe you do a uh, online workshop for your meetup group, a smaller, more intimate group gives you a chance to um, to practice that content. And if you like to present it to the wider global community, um, you can fill out this application and. and that would be awesome. Um, or reach out to me um, if you need any guidance there. Um, I'm Courtney PK on the Make WordPress Slack. Um, happy to help you there. Um, if you want to co-host, you can reach out to us and um, like the link that Leo provided earlier. Um, that is where you can find workshops that are seeking some um, some co-hosts, but if you just generally want to be a co-host, maybe be on our roster of people that we reach out to for co-hosting, uh, you could just use our general contact form. And if you want to create a tutorial that can be added to um, the hundreds that we have on Learn WordPress, then we have an application for that as well. And that was a lot of talking for me, and I'd love to hear from you. Um, you know, like open it, open this up to any more questions that folks have, or if there's anything that you'd like to go over that I might have gone by too quickly. If uh, and if there's somebody who wants to ask questions but you don't feel comfortable like asking directly, feel free to uh, to write them in the chat. Please. So. Yeah, again, I'm going to just, while we're waiting for questions to come in, um, I'll show you the site again, just do a quick little walkthrough. So learn.wordpress.org um, should be pretty, I think we're also possibly going through a redesign soon, but uh, this is what it looks oh. like now. Um, so tutorials and lesson plans are um, you know front and center here. And um, so those are pretty easy to access here. And is it possible from this page to mm -hmm. go to specific languages or? Mm, not from this page, okay. no. And as I mentioned, the, the language filter only seems to be on tutorials right now. 
Um, and then online workshops you access from these links down here. So I showed you this briefly in the slide earlier. So here's all of our, our current month. Um, so many, our, our calendar is getting a little unwieldy. <laughs> And this calendar will show you workshops in your local time. So you're looking at um, UTC minus 10 right now on my screen. Uh, and you can subscribe to these, these calendars too, so which is super helpful if you're just keeping an eye out for workshops that are happening in your time zone. Um, yeah, attend a few and just like sit in. And if it's the topic that you see in an online workshop is something that interests you, uh, you can present it at your meetup or even reach out to the person that was presenting and say, like, would you like to present this at my meetup? Um, yeah, I do have a yeah. question, Courtney, sorry, about contributing um, to the training team or learn during a, um, a meetup event. If mm -hmm. there is some I don't know if this is something that can happen actually, but uh, if there is some sort of content uh, uh, that can be translated to another language and during like a meetup wants to uh, to do this as an activity all together with the members, is something possible? Should they reach out first to know what can what they can translate and how to do it or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, reaching out to the training team. Um via the contact form or in Slack, um, say like you're interested in translating a, a certain piece of content, um, we will create a, a GitHub issue for that so we can track that um, and um, and then be able to provide it to everyone else on Learn WordPress once that, that translation is done. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, all right. I. I don't see any question or any hands. So <laughs> I, I think that we can start wrapping up. If uh, you have any other question later, uh, don't worry, you can always reach out to, to the training team or to Courtney, or you can comment under the, uh, the event post and we'll make sure that we pass your, your question to the training team. And uh, just, uh, um, a note because I was looking at the chat and I saw um, the conversation between Dan and Michael and um, I don't know if you know but uh, there is a, a project going on since last year the meetup reactivation project with uh, many supporters all around the world uh, supporting each other in reactivating their own meetups so if you haven't been in contact with um, anyone else about uh, uh, about this project yet and you would like to receive support or just uh, um, sharing your feedbacks, uh, uh, what are you going through with your meetups with other organizers, um, just drop a message in the in the community events channel or a ping to Kate, which is here and she is based in US and uh, um, and she's working closely to the, the meetup organizers in uh, um, US and Canada. Or you can reach out to me if you are in Europe or any of us, and we can put you in contact with other organizers who are experimenting a similar situation to yours. Um, so I think that that would be all for today. Courtney, thank you so, so much for joining us in the session. Um, it was great. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I know that for many it's an uncomfortable hour, a little bit unsocial, but mm -hmm. thanks a lot. We need to uh, we need to make sure that um, we are offering the chance to join to everyone. And uh, so I hope to see you all at the next. Yes, thank you. I'll be sharing the slides um, in the comments of the uh, the post on make community. Um, so if you want to want to know like what the links were for many different um, parts of this presentation, they'll be in that present or that slide deck. So oh, nice. yeah, thank you all for coming. <laughs> thank you so much. Have a great rest of your days and night and see you 
at the next event. Cheers. Thank Bye. you.